Hi everyone, we're having oh. tech issues as per usual. What else is new? Um, you haven't showed up on Twitch yet, Tang. Oh, okay. Well, Twitch always takes a little bit of time. Last live just now, and then you are no. Hey, oh, it says English writing. I do not know if that's the tag you want. That's okay. I'll change them later. It's fine. The tags. I've changed the actual title, though. The title should be the right thing. There's no title on it. Hang on. Oh, there it is. Yep. Okay. Yep. There we go. Hey, we're up. Oh, yeah. We're live. It's working. Hey. Hooray! Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Mari Still Plays. We have Creatrix Tier on the chat. We have Hobbsy. We have Brad Hello. Storer. Who, yes, yeah, special guest, hey. Brad Storer. Hi. Um, Hi, everyone. And we are going to be playing Great Ace Attorney Chronicles, which we do at 7.30 p.m. GMT plus 10 Melbourne, Australia time. If you don't want to calculate, um, every Saturday we play some sort of mystery detective game. Right now it's Ace Attorney series and it's the Chronicles because it's just dropped in English. And we might have voice acting today because we've got Brad. Yes, Brad, tell us about, tell the world about. Yes, uh, introduce yourself, <laughs> Brad. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. I am a musical theatre performer, a cabaret artist, and general all-around hot mess. I mean, yes. uh, oh, an erstwhile sloth priest. That's my other pro huh? profession. Oh, yeah. There's actually... the, 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 the one professional. <laughs> there's a religion. In, in the... in, in there's a whole religion, yes. Yes, there's a religion involved. <laughs> All right, and um, Bradley's sloth priest of said religion. Um... We are we are <laughs> dropping frames, so I'm not sure what it, what the hell is going on. It's telling me we're dropping frames when usually we don't. Um, so yes, we. It's too much chaos. <laughs> maybe. So I don't know if there is a problem. Pop in the chat. Tell us that there is a problem, and one of us will see it. And hopefully everybody is coming through clear. Um, and I stream six days a week so the re rest of the weekdays i stream at around 12 p.m and two days monday and wednesdays are freelance pitching stuff because i'm a journal and then tuesdays thursdays is book writing fridays is a bit of adventure gaming with my sister um where she leads me astray through all the labyrinths ah. <laughs> um but yeah today it is gaming so we are going to start gaming <laughs> Now we have to see if I remember where we stopped. We are about to start the trial of four nuts so I can continue. This bit? Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Very. Enter of the cloud yes. Kokoro. <laughs> <laughs> see, this is why you're the actual professional. Right. No. No. <laughs> we'll tell I've you. I've got to say, we'll we've not you... had a cloud. What? I'm sorry. <laughs> We've not had a Cloud of Kokorno play any feature in this story so far. However, <laughs> one never knows. Well, it, yeah, it, it's called that because one of Soseki Nuts, who is an actual actual writer, uh, one of his known works is a novel called Kokoro. So any case that involves ah. him has the uh, title the word Kokoro in it. The Japanese okay. words for heart. I see. Okay, now, Brad, you know that Soseki Natsume is involved in this case, right? Do you know who I he is? Uh, not personally. Um, <laughs> this is I mean, I was very surprised because he's very dead. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so he he's a major uh, Japanese writer, and I squealed in much delight because I am fan. Yeah. Aww. So they have they they actually have like him, and not like a renamed version of him. Probably when they oh, ask so not like estate, Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's like yeah. they ask his estate. Can we have him in our game? And his estate was like, yeah, do whatever you want with the yeah. game. <laughs> so, um, you are going to be, well, you can, uh, if you want, you can play Soseki, I don't know, but you can play, uh, we would think you could play the Baron. Um, the Baron of Ponzi. Yeah, there's no, there's no rivalry. Wait, he's well. not a Baron, sorry, he's Baroque. He's not a Baron. Oh. <laughs> we just get confused. We just, you will, I, I, you will see him. I, I, you have, will see I him. have to explain this to you, Brad. Brad, he looks like... The Japanese idea of a Victorian got emo got person, <laughs> right? Who is a Bram Stoker fanboy, and is all like, "Woe is me! Where? When will I get consumption? When is it 
in my time zone. <laughs> Do you see that why, I, why I was but, like, but, we both of us were like, we need Brad to come in and voice this guy. But at the, at, at the same time, right, the outfit has epaulets and things so like there's a bit of a military vibe like you know and so that's yeah. why we get confused with the baron pub and it looks like this is what they thought they might wear plus add a drama plus bishinus. oh my god he, he it's so drama but bishinus like you know the world <laughs> is dark oh yeah yeah bishi the house down yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the world is so dark <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, the, we're missing our like usual viewership. Well, hopefully they'll come by by the time yeah. this Baroque <laughs> Venture shows up. I don't care because like at least we left, but it's fine. It's okay. Yeah, but, yeah. But you, and then and then he, he will do the stupidest things and then say, "Pardon me for the discourtesy." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, don't freaking by this kind of do it in the first place. Like, oh. <laughs> I mean, I, and and I know you like her, Lock, but I I don't know. I think you like to play Barack more than her, Lock. But you can see. <laughs> but yeah, you will. See. It'll make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sense. this is Susato. Yeah. This is Ryonosuke's um assistant. Yeah. Like the only person with a brain cell in the entire game. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited! Oh my god. And Ryanosuke! Uh, this is Phoenix Rice's ancestor. Who has stumbled onto war. Yeah, it's like we are playing as. Okay. Yeah, like Brad's play. You. Like, you came to my house and played like one section of the Ace Attorney game and then that was it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just a small section. That is the entire part of my but knowledge is coming what? in. I'm, I'm really surprised because I thought like anyone coming within like two feet of uh, Tiara would be like somehow, you know, absorbed into the Ace Attorney family. I mean, he dresses like Edgeworth a lot, so I've just said he gives him that. <laughs> I've been told this, yes, indeed. Edgy's it, it a favorite of mine. There is, there is. There's your Soseki Natsume. He's a very high-strong, yes. paranoid writer type. Interna this is international student representation in the game. <laughs> it's like, I came here to study and I'm having a terrible time. <laughs> oh god, too real. <laughs> oh, this is- I love this bit. I love this bit. Yes, I've heard that expression. This expression. Dear Livan. But I really don't want to catch a worm. I tried desperately not to get, wake up early, but I was so worried oh, I couldn't get it. <laughs> he goes, he goes into real highs and lows. This character. Uh, I have no idea what that's like. Um, emotional roller coaster. Do I am literally <laughs> people take things so literally. Yes, they do. <laughs> like that whole like being too anxious. Yeah. That wanting to wake up early, being too anxious, you just don't sleep. That is me exactly. It's so frustrating. It's like, oh, I need to make sure I get enough sleep to so have this thing. Yeah, guaranteed no sleep. Oh God, yes. Oh, oh something's happening. I wish I had nine lives. My whole nine lives. Future hangs in the balance. Yeah, he's he's most famous for uh, terrified to uh, tremble. A book called uh, I Am a Cat, which is written from the perspective of a cat, but it's like. Quite that satire about Japanese like Meiji society. Oh, so that's what he. So those are like so much. So many references. levels. I love it. It was it was yep. serialized in a literary magazine, and it was very popular. Yeah. And they've made like all sorts of plays and TV shows and stuff in Japan about it. There's they a all, song. Yeah, people love it. I can't do this. I can't. I can't He's like this in real life. Like, like, like he, he's just like this in real life. Like, there's very. But I like the actions. Like, I can't take it. <laughs> Why? Uh, I love the the poses he's striking because they're almost like muscle poses. Some of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I cannot take this. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Local student, Mister Nano, had to esquire son. <laughs> I caught a glimpse of the public gallery by the courtroom. Okay, it looked like the opening night of the opera. There were so many people. 
Okay, so such a note. <laughs> it's uh-huh. like the headings. Everybody comes to watch the headings because it's all gruesome. Ah! Oh god. Well, it's like Japanese defense lawyer, international student. Japanese international student, English literature person. Um. <laughs> all knowing. <laughs> what does Susato know? Ooh. Okay, oh, so thanks for uh, Bradley. Yes. So the Reaper is the nickname of this prosecutor, the guy we're trying to get you to play. Oh, it is oh, in this case. I can't imagine why you'd want me to play him. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. There is a there is this sort of rumor going around because every time uh, someone he, he's like prosecuting for that, if that person gets acquitted, they die somehow. <laughs> And so there's sort of this conspiracy around like, is he like directly killing people or is there a curse or what's going on? Mm-hmm. And so his cases get notorious. And he apparently like took a break for five years and he comes back when Yorinusuke shows up. And so now like he's he's lost like a couple of cases now at this point with it. Oh, this is like the second one, I think. But still it's a bit like, ooh, oh no. Even if I am found not guilty, I will die. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. So, but but yeah, he's taken a break for five years, and I I suspect now Tiara's played all the way through. I suspect, so I know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm playing blind. Everybody else is blind as far as I know, and except Rana, I think. And then I, I am I'm always coming up with theories about what's happening. I suspect that he also finds this very odd, and he's been scapegoated, and he's trying to work out what's happening and who's trying to scapegoat him for all of this, and conveniently get rid of all the people that get acquitted and stuff, so. Yeah, I see, I see. Lord Vance, yes. Oh yeah, this is like going to be the second case, so, so yeah, for, yeah. for Yonisu case point of view, so it's like, like him again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> why is it always him? Like, kind of thing. I do love the music. This is a really good music. Media attention. Is it not like don't they like don't do this because you could sway the jury? That's now, not back then. That's now, not back then. <laughs> I here you go. Now you explain the five years thing. So right, I have spoiled it for you. Sorry. No, no, we knew <laughs> we knew it in the previous game. So. Oh, did we? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I forget like at what point. Yeah, you, you go. This there is, he is. That's him. This is him. Oh. Right, this is him. Yeah, I see him. Oh. <laughs> there is, there's like no subtle prosecutor in this entire series. <laughs> like he makes all the other, like he makes Edwards look sedate. Like Edwards Alex <laughs> looks normal. Oh. He's, a, he's grumpy and arrogant, but he's normal. Did you tell but him? Like every other prosecutor, they just get worse. <laughs> just get worse. Did you tell him about Miles Deadwood? No. <laughs> I feel. What? Uh, I don't know even how to begin explaining the situation with Miles Deadwood. Uh. So basically, in in the mainline games, uh, Phoenix uh, as- assisted Maya comes from a lineage of people who are spirit mediums and one thing they can do is that they can channel the spirit of the dead oh yes and yes. so every so often that happens so someone's done this whole like alternate universe thing where edwards has died and so maya is channeling him every so often so you see edwards in like this sort of japanese girls uh in a kimono priestess uniform yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and just like there's like this whole sub story about how like the two of them make that start getting Maya to dress up in random shit to like annoy Edward. Why am I in this silly dress? The dress of incident. Yep. Yeah, this there's this whole thing about like Japan English relations that's like a huge deal in the series. But in this particular like, game. Mm. <gasps> Me? 
<laughs> yes, the random Japanese last minute student replacement for because his best friend died. That what? What? Okay, like why does everybody jump to the wrong conclusion? And this is why they're not defense attorneys. Um <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Either way, it's now cold. If I'm friends with him, this guy is scared. If I have bad luck, this guy is scared. Oh my god. <laughs> He's just scared of everything. <laughs> the this <laughs> lucky lawyer. <laughs> oh, that teeth action he has going on. Oh. Yes, you said that. <laughs> it's like it's your fault. <laughs> Now he's not even just a student, he got smuggled on board by his best friend to come to London. And then what? best friend dies, and so he suddenly that's taking over as a law student, had to study law in like a month. I, I, I still feel, you sold that to me as like best friend disappears and this guy has to go Oh yeah, there's much more going on. <laughs> ah, that's, that's Spoilers! Like... Why is there much more going on with that damn relationship? Like, yeah, it's a best friend that smuggles you on board. Like what? Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> no local assistant, Miss Miss Cordova, Squares. Squares. Oh, like she is actually somewhat trained in legal stuff. Had the only brain cell in the entire room. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go. Yes! <laughs> so I want to this guy said that. Oh, oh, okay. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Oh, the game mechanics are gonna drive you crazy, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> why? Game mechanics. Yeah, but why? What about them? How the... <laughs> Just how the... Cross examination part of this is going. <laughs> oh, it's fine. <laughs> this might be where we get the Aussie drawer. I think. And that's the best friend. Yeah, that's the, the best. best friend in like oh, very yeah. qualified words. I mean, look at this. Bishi, bishi, bishi. So bishi. Yeah, bishi. Oh. He has a very good chapter. But yeah, it's like. The, you know, you call each other partner, like... Ooh, yeah. Subtext! Ooh. We'll have to say subtext it's because even, he's dead. It's not, not even subtext. It's not even subtext, it's really, not even subtext. There are no subs involved in this. <laughs> well, well, I think Ryunosuke is one. Is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, willingly being shoved in the closet and yeah. has to be fished out. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> we go! There we go. Here's our judge. Everyone calls him Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I can say <see> why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there he is. The oh, prosecution is fully prepared, my lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the defense is ready, my lord. Okay, you want to do it? Very... Okay, okay. Right. I'll do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Highly nervous. Nipponese are truly a fascinating breed. <laughs> Sorry, what? Lord Strongheart has told me all about you. Yeah, we've met before, bro. <laughs> that you are a student who arrived in London but two days ago. A mere amateur. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, we still beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the, the, do you have a point? <laughs> I starting around so nervous. Being a compatriot, you feel compelled to try to help the accused, I suppose. Typical Nipponese arrogance. Oh my god, chill. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Who wants to do Susato? Okay. Forgive but... me, but I do. Yeah, oh, yeah you're her lock. Well, because I, well, think I don't know if he's gonna, gonna be here. He's not gonna turn up. Well, I thought I thought you said he was gonna turn up in the court. 
No, not this time, I don't think. Forgive me, but I he don't does believe sometimes. arrogance is an appropriate description. After all, at our previous encounter, the defendant was found to be innocent. Yeah, she oh. is like, when she <laughs> brings it, she brings it. glass of wine! <laughs> Very true. And the most fascinating, if dark, trial it was, too. Oh yeah, the suspicion that the trial was, like, rigged. Yeah. Which gives Ryonosuke as, like, a whole identity crisis. Tragic inclusion came later, of course. Here's to the acquitted and his unfortunate violent end. Like the man has a sash! Why does the man ha- I- I- Because he's a lord. He's not a lord. Mm? I don't think he's- Yeah, a lord Red he is. He is. He's not a baron, but he's a lord. If he's a lord, what is he doing happened about in court? Can't he just go look after his land? Thank you, council. He, I because see he does a day job. <laughs> I see both sides are in fine fettle. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. <laughs> we have every. This is the most voice acting we've done in a while. <laughs> are you ready to carry out your duties here in court as impartial members of the public? Ah, uh, here's, here's the everybody. Oh my god, this guy's back. Oh my god. This is the guy. This is the Aussie. This is the Aussie one. Oh. Show me to do it. So you never know when you might be down on your luck, but I believe you fair play for everyone. Oh. That's also your name, bro. Well, I must warn you, I'm rather more ruthless than I appear. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, not me. What you see is what you get. I'm a peace-loving fellow. I'm afraid to say, I think it's quite possible that Mustache Foreigner did the deed. We've met this woman. Oh, yes. Why is she on the jury? <laughs> <laughs> because supposedly random. Oh, yes, she is. a witness. <laughs> yeah, she is a witness. Excuse, <laughs> madam. Come on, what we waiting for? No doubt he did it anyway. <laughs> oh, my God. Eh? Sorry? Didn't quite catch that? Excuse? <laughs> Very well. Let us proceed. Your opening statement, if you please, Lord Van Ziegs. Very recently, Great Britain signed an alliance with rising power in the Far East. The accused of the dog today is a student from that same land, a certain Miss Sasaki Natsumi. And while our country has extended this foreign student the warmest of welcomes, Regrettably, the kindness has not been returned. In fact, this student is accused of a most sinister act. Oh! oh. Of plunging a knife into the back of an innocent woman who is doing nothing but walking down the street. What? There you go, there's a bit of drama. A knife crime? I tell you from bitter experience, those are the worst. Bloody oath they are. <laughs> Just look at that sallow complexion and short stature. He's he's one of those dreadful Japanese. I'm ruining all your audition tapes right now. Come on, let's get this over with. With me now, everyone. One, two, three. Eh? Sorry, didn't quite catch that. <laughs> Joan, I see. Is Pray forgive the discourtesy of smashing my head. The chalice here in this great chamber. Allow me to call the first witness to the stand. Who's our first witness? Very well. Bailiff, lead the inspector in, ah, please. Ah, Greg said. Oh, God. <laughs> Your name and occupation, please. Who wants to take on this guy? Oh. Yes, sir? Tobias Gregson, Detective Inspector at Scotland Yard. <laughs> Would you please summarise the events of the case of the court, Inspector? The victim is thought to be a young woman in her 20s by the name of Olive Green. 
The Japanese ah. version had her name as Viridian Green, which I thought would have been better, but alas. I beg your pardon, Inspector. Thought to be. Oh, yes. Having been stabbed in the back by an attacker's knife, the victim fell unconscious. That was three days ago now, and she's been comatose ever since. What? So they don't even know who she is for sure? Hmm. Comatose. I see. But her life is not in danger? Fortunately for the Eastern student, the charge will not be murder. Pray elaborate on the details, Inspector. Sir, if I could ask everyone to look at this street map. <laughs> As I mentioned, the incident took place three days ago at around five in the afternoon. It happened on the pavement running alongside Briar Road, a wide thoroughfare for horse-drawn vehicles. It had not long since stopped snowing as the victim, Miss Green, was walking down the street. Out of the blue, she was approached from behind by the accused and stabbed in the back. The accused has a fancy top hat. <laughs> Luckily, the young lady's life was spared and she's currently being treated in one of the city's hospitals. Oof. But being unconscious as she is, we've been, un been unable to take a statement from her, of course. This is the case file with everything, everything we know about the victim so far. Thank you, Inspector. <laughs> the court will accept the doctor's evidence, if you please. The case file has been admitted to court record. <laughs> okay. What the weapon that was used? Hold on a second, I want to go into the court record. Where? Eh? Uh... Right, so. I don't think we can look at anything, maybe. Not nah, yet. Nah. Not, yet. Not, yet. Like... Not yet. Not yet. Alright. Okay, young woman ready on coach step to the back. Olive green as in I love green. Female stout build. No, like as in olives are green. <laughs> That's the part. It used Ro to be Viridian. Roly beat? Roly beat. <laughs> Reporting officer. Roly His name beat. will make a little bit more sense once you fight. Yeah, I'll see him in a bit. Unconscious, single step wound, large knife. Sailor seen running away, arrested following following day. Okay. Yeah, because they had to figure out where he is and then wow. they found Herlock and they're like, Can you find the guy? And it's like he's right there. Hmm. And that's why so sick he was like, he got me arrested. It's like they only asked me where you were. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um what of the weapon that was used? Sir, I have that here. It was removed from the victim's back. Ouch, that big thing is starting to make me scared to walk down the street now. Oof. Every blade like that? If it's crack, it's so sexy. Oh, sorry, that was. <laughs> oh, that was my line, sorry. <laughs> That's fine. We I mean, have no structure. Like, feel free to like jump in and say random bullshit if you want. You can comment on the case, do whatever. Hmm, a common old garden gag track knife, I would say. Rather nondescript. Common or garden, yeah. <laughs> common or garden? What? That, that or garden, oh. <laughs> no, like, common or garden is how you say it now that that's the slang. Uh, it's funny to think the slang was around in the 1800s also, but yeah. Really? I've not heard that. Um, my mother uses it. No. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Inspector. The court accepts the knife as evidence. The the deck that has to be entered is the court record. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! We, if this stage production of like the great ace attorney ever happens, like will we need to do someone like that do voice? You want like, to tell... oh, the blood has been entered into the court record. Do you want to tell people what is happening? You wanted to announce it. The tell people with the one viewer that is me. Whatever. Ah! Whatever. Now then, 
What do we, we know? We can wait a bit. We can wait a bit. Okay, that's fine. And we'll go. I want to wait till your sister or someone like joins in the chat and points it up then. <laughs> I don't know, she might be asleep. She, her sleep pattern has gone up and down. Aww. So. Okay, yeah. Um. None of your valuables, I presume? From what we can tell by looking at the woman's positions, it seems like she's a poor student herself. Commentary or like university students. Ah, uh, to imagine she didn't anything much <laughs> worth pension, my lord. I see. Well, in that case, are we looking at some deep seated resentment toward the victim? <laughs> I'm afraid I couldn't say. Apart from visiting second hand bookshops, the defendant, Mr. Natsumi, doesn't appear to get out much. <laughs> at this moment in time, we haven't been able to establish any sort of connection between him and the victim. Yes! Yes! Yes, indeed, yes! Hello, excuse me. Hello. Teacher. This <laughs> preferred grievance had been ruled out as the motive. <laughs> what reason could Mr. Natsume possibly have had for stabbing the young woman? Teacher. It's teacher, sir. <laughs> Yet you arrested the man in spite of that in a totally unjustified and heavy handed way. Objection! Oh. What's your deal? <laughs> ah! Pray forgive the discourtesy of flinging a freshly uncorked bottle into the public gallery. This is also the only Ace Attorney game that acknowledges the presence of alcohol. <laughs> but your words have soured its hallowed bouquet. Good grief. Every other Ace Attorney game is like, grape juice! <laughs> Look at that, the, the limp-wristed fingerprint, I, I, yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it is you, my learned friend, who is being heavy-handed here. <laughs> what? Excuse me? Oh. <laughs> Daddy. Cardonia does not arrest people without good cause. That should, should be beyond question. Oh. It should be. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'll be covering up bad policing now. <laughs> I mean, yes. definitely. A cab! All across history, A cab. No matter what. Uh, uh. Inspector Gregson, the prosecution calls for your formal testimony. Right. Explain to the court precisely why the constabulary came to arrest the Nipponese student. Yes, sir. Right. You probably won't want to like voice the next bit because we'll be repeating through it a few times. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. So we'll give it a rest or keep going. Yeah, give it a rest, yeah. Otherwise okay. it'd be. Five o'clock in the afternoon, incident occurred, unusually light falls, visibility is good. No one is about, victim and accused. Holding fish and chips. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's his thing. <laughs> He just goes like, fish and chips and eats of it all, like a never-ending supply. And it's weird because, like, oh, he puts enough. his notebook in his headband. And it, well, usually, you put your press pass in your headband. <laughs> but he's a That's detective, though. He doesn't that. need. <laughs> um, victim step behind. Okay, accused ran off, scattering his belongings all over the. I have a question. Yes, what? Um. It was just the victim and the accused. The victim falls down. Who saw the accused supposedly yeah, running away from the scene? Dude, I never understood this. Where it's like there were no witnesses. Oh, we found a witness. You know, <laughs> like it happens in every damn attorney game. There's always like there were no witnesses. There was no one else, but there was a witness. Where did you fetch a witness from? <laughs> You waited a whole damn day till Sherlock got back. <laughs> yeah. A photograph. <gasps> they are, they've advanced in technology, so at least photos are okay. So you got the books. The crime scene photograph has been entered into the courtroom. <laughs> yeah, you Nipponese are a spineless breed, too cowardly to admit defeat. Dude, we just started. <laughs> <laughs> there was this comic I saw someone draw where it's like Phoenix's first day in court, uh, or something like sort of when the case starts. 
and they're doing this and he finds a contradiction where it's like i was not there at three but it's like oh we found evidence that you were there at three no objection and then everyone starts celebrating around him and edwards goes dude we only just started the case ah. <laughs> calm down and everyone's partying uh, we got a knife all it does is open up and close back up again Alright, no, no, no fun commentary just yet. Yeah, yeah, nothing just yet. <laughs> Those are not the book titles, you can tell they're not written in an English language. <laughs> they're written in cuneiform. I don't know how you pronounce that word. Uh not much you can do about it. Dying everything despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary. Well give me lot bad seats, but the defendant is not denying everything as you put it. What are you doing, Mrs. Sato? You go on. Mr. Natsume has admitted to playing some part in the incident. Isn't that right, Mr. Naruhodo? A lot that you mention it. When we visited him in the prison yesterday, he did tell us what had all happened. <laughs> <coughs> this poor boy. As I was walking along that accursed pavement, I could make out the sole silhouette of another ahead of me. A woman wearing a green overcoat she was, and just as I went to overtake her... Stab. She suddenly let a little cream and collapsed onto the cold hard slabs of stone at my feet! I was terrified I had to get away from there. So I ran as fast as my legs would carry me back to my accursed lodgings. Oh. Hmm. Green overcoat? Well, that's exactly what the woman <laughs> the priest is wearing! My, a photographic print in full color. What would the world come up with next? <laughs> the defendant has done nothing more than admit he fled the scene of a terrifying incident. That does not mean he's guilty of the heinous crime of stabbing the woman in the back. He did not gossip about her or anything. Who did he gossip to? There was nobody else there at the time. Just the two of them. The victim and the accused. In other words, there is nobody else who could have possibly stabbed the woman. There it is, the limp-wristed point again. A mm. fact that the accused concedes. Uh... <laughs> hmm. It seems this cross-examination could prove to be pivotal, Council. <clears throat> Proceed, please. Alright, now it's time to, like, poke this guy's like robot. Yes, my lord! Nothing for it. I have to use this cross-examination to turn the tables here. It's our only chance! When the turntables... So do you want me to do it or nah, not? Nah, yeah, you'll, you'll be here forever. Alright, what's the problem? Well... You won't know yet. We need to press everything, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> if there was an... Oh, okay, it's an unusually loud fog, yes. Fog about... Well, you should press everything. Yes, yes, I know. Hold it! Look at something. A light fog? A light fog, you say? <laughs> Opposite street, side of the street. That's okay. Uh, that's light, is it? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> A random London street, but like, sure, we don't have the internet yet, but, um, aww. See, he's like flattering them. Like, we think highly of you, unlike the other way around. Oh, great. 
It's like, I guess, I wonder what people think of the fog, like San Francisco being hella foggy. Like, whether they romanticize it or not. Because San Francisco people just find it to be annoying. <laughs> Oh. oh no! Uh, so then you remember to stop looking. <laughs> <laughs> However, on the day that concerns us, the fog was somewhat lighter than usual. Uh, very convenient weather. <laughs> Back no doubt lamented by the accused. <laughs> oh! Hold it. They were, yeah, security cameras weren't a thing in the time. No. Nope. See, this is there's no one else there, but there were witnesses. I don't understand this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the policeman did it. <laughs> it's here. <laughs> Too be necessary. Ooh. Which is bigger, Japan or England? Like the UK? I have no sense of scale. Okay, Ben Ziggs and that finger pointing with the limp wrist. Oh. <laughs> it's like he's reaching out to like get the cream out of the top of something and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> the cream like, of something, huh? Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> <that>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there, there, there are hardly any heterosexuals in this whole series. Matt, can you play the conk in the darkness? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it! From behind. From behind. Someone, there's a circus performer throwing knives. Who's the target? That's why you couldn't see them, they were far away. Oh. Look, that level of bullshit is actually pretty funny, so try if... <laughs> this is what happens when you get a magician to be the main writer of the series. <laughs> What he did not drop was his cat, the most important thing in the world. That would involve a cl amount of dexterity, though. To be able to like open a knife one handed. Yes! <laughs> How did he get the knife open? Yeah, he doesn't seem like the sort of person to have very sharp knife skills. So the sun is coming from the stopping. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Oh yeah, his room is full, like full of books. Rana is in the chat. Hello, Rana. Hi, Rana. Yeah, Rana. Our biggest fan. Okay, cool. We're gonna get some information. Ooh. Bourbon book. Hmm. Oh, we have some fellow put we have people here in the chat. Hello! People have joined us. Hi everybody Yay. in the chat. Oh my god. Hi Cephalopodunk and Janevev and Rana. Hello. Hello. Well, we have more people. Once we finish this cross examination. Hi. I yeah. can I can finally talk about the thing that I have yeah, been talking about for the last twenty four hours. We got, we got news. some news. And we have Brad joining us who's gonna voice Ben Seek, so you'll hear him in a bit. He's <laughs> a Chinese amusement. Uh -huh. Why won't he have gone this way? I would have crossed the street here and walked on this side. But that still doesn't like stop him from the stabs though. The stabbing was on that street corner. Oh, that street corner. <laughs> we found the problem. You found the problem. Oh wait, wait, wait. They update. I want to look at that again. Did they update? Did they update? Did they really? Yeah. yeah. They sort of updated it. Wrong shop. See, if you if he bought his books from Amazon, <laughs> it will cause more problems. But this would have been one of them. Uh. <laughs> Jeff Bezos accused of murder. Mr. Naruto, uh. I think that what the inspector just told us it turned out to be of vital importance. And yes, and. I agree. <laughs> they are sometimes good at hits. The most important part. What's the most important point? The bookshop stock. It only stocks porn, and that's why it's a <laughs> <the> bookshop. <laughs> The bookshop is actually hairs on hanging this is good. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> like, can you imagine like a like a game like set in the right? Oh rabbits and wolves. Okay, but... Rabbits and wolves! Rabbits and wolves! <laughs> yes! <laughs> the Animal Crossing Fridge Festival equivalent. <laughs> uh, which this is basically a mini reunion of everyone who was a part of Animal Crossing Fridge, my other big video game project um, and the National Video Game Museum in the UK has just like published the Animal Crossing Diaries exhibit and so we are on there just like, they have a timeline of like notable events in Animal Crossing yeah actually I will put you in the we are one of them <laughs> hold on a second I will go find give me a few seconds I will go find the link and put it in the chat for everybody copy <laughs> We yes, go. so we did a fridge festival in Animal Crossing last year. Um, I was it, it it was somehow the vehicle through which I achieved my lifelong goal of being an artistic director, <laughs> which is great, but also gave me identity crisis for a long time. Um, Brad and Murray and Andrew were performers <laughs> in it, which was amazing. You all were so nice and lovely and huh? <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna, and now we're back. I'm gonna press this new statement because he's added bourbon books to it. Okay. He was on his way home for bourbon books. A book, second hand bookshop he apparently patronizes. Hmm, so the shop is called Bourbon Books, is it? That's you right. You get a free drink, Richard. I didn't expect you guys to start <laughs> voicing, by the way. I was just. <laughs> we're just random. All right, sorry. I just wanted to press it in case, in case we got something else. That's fine. It's up to you. Guys. Bourbon book. You can ju jump he in needs whenever, bourbon. Just let yeah, me know that no I know to voice reason. Sato. <laughs> if, if, if I could just confirm one point, it is bourbon book, yes? <laughs> what was it? Was it this game or like some other game where it was like. Yes, we. The defendant has made the. No, not the game. I'm thinking bloody legally blonde. <laughs> 
the thing is. But like the f the final <laughs> case of. Uh, you know, she was like, try to work out whether the, the, the witness had been in the shower. Because she was stalling for time. But hmm. then she suddenly like, worked out like, wait, there's actually something Wait, not in the this, shower? Like... Yes. Yeah. Uh, I believe the, believe the witness has confirmed that she was in the shower. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see, but oh, no, the point is, yeah, because if she'd been in the shower, like her pen would have been deactivated. Uh, yeah, that was beautiful. That was uh, just like... Well, hey, Rana, thank you for... And of course, there are 50 million videos of that clip with Ace Attorney soundtrack music. Rana! <laughs> Rana, this is weird. Didn't you follow me already? I thought... Uh, oh, but thank you for following me. Rana has like two accounts. Oh, right, right, right. right. Click I, I made you a moderator. <laughs> like, I'm saying. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> Rana, what is it? Underscore one without an underscore. Yeah, 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 okay. Right, so so let's let's like challenge this guy and then and yeah, then yeah, we yeah, will we explain. Have we have something very important to to let you all know. Although I feel like I might be overblowing the importance. of Just the tell them <laughs> now while I'm doing this. It doesn't matter. Just tell them now. You sure? Yes, go you for sure? it. Go for it because okay, I'm gonna continue go doing this. You guys got. Okay, so uh, we might have brought this up in the chat before, but I've talked about wanting to do a stage play adaptation of the Ace Attorney series. And I thought specifically this game, um, there have been many Japanese adaptations, including by the massive Takarazuka Review, which is a well-known uh, all-female production. Um, but there's not been any English version, and there's not really been any... There's a fan musical, and that's about as close as we got. But there's a... No one's done any English pro stage play production uh, adaptation of this, or really any other video game. So... I've been trying to figure out how to do this for a while and then asked around, someone sent me the link to Capcom's licensing page so I sent an inquiry, not expecting anything. <laughs> and they replied to me yesterday. And basically it was like, hey, we're the people in charge of the movie and TV and stage play rights, uh, we would like a proposal. <laughs> uh, before we proceed, and so they want like... The name of a company organization because they don't license the individuals, which fair enough. They want to know like our state, like our plan. They basically want to know like our theater size and audience size. Um, and also a proposed licensing fee, <laughs> of which I have known. And they also said like, oh, you can't use Sherlock because that's a third party thing. We can't like, we don't have any jurisdiction uh, to let you use Sherlock. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, let us know. Looking forward to hearing from you soon. I was like, I just, I just straight up died. I honestly expected them to be like, no, or just never reply to me, or, you know, someone else might have tried, or we're not interested, because that's happened before. Ahem, Darren Hayes's record label. <laughs> yeah, but, but they were like, yes, yeah, that is a proposal. Hold it! And you have any questions? Let's chat. Uh, 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 so, so we are a tiny step closer to an officially licensed English stage play adaptation of Ace Attorney. <laughs> so yeah. Which I wish I'd waited until today to tell you all so you'll be more excited, but... <laughs> well, no, we were very excited because Tiara messaged me and said, why aren't you picking up your phone when I need to... Ah! I <laughs> and then I went, ah, back at home. Back at them, yeah. Oh my god. So yeah, I spent yesterday evening and all of today frantically emailing a whole pile of people. Basically being like, would you like to work with me on this? Because I... Because <laughs> if, if I... If somehow we succeed, it'll be a first American thing. It'll be the first English stage play ad adaptation of any Ace Attorney game. It'll be the first adaptation of this game in particular because all the other adaptations have been for the older games. So this game has not had any adaptation. Um, it will be probably one of the first, if not the first, stage play adaptation of a video game in English. Of any video game. Like, ever. There's only been one other one, which is a parody of Oregon Trail. Maybe be like smaller scale ones that we don't know of, but it's unheard of. Uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, so if, 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 if you know anyone that can help with this, uh, please send them my way. 
and we tried to contact a couple of copyright agencies and you're like, I do not know if this is in your purview because no one's ever bloody tried. But how do I, how much should I propose for a licensing fee? <laughs> so, I'm also gasping because I'm just like, did the did Venzix just threaten to kill someone? Yeah, I know! Yes, he did. Oh, so I missed all that. <laughs> um, Deal he, with him okay. using my reputation. But yes, that's the news. That's the news. We are a tiny step closer to potentially. Inspector Benson is also alive for you. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So uh, we were tea kettle fine last night over the news. <laughs> <laughs> I had to explain what tea kettle fine meant. But... You, you sound like a tea kettle. Shrieking. Yeah. And that's. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I was, like, Mari said that to me last night. I'm like, pot calling the kettle black? What? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, different. Very different connotation. <laughs> like, no, I mean, like, the scream that happens when you boil water in a kettle. <laughs> we might have a director on board for this. Ooh! Shamini, who all of you all probably know. Shamini oh, Kumar. Yeah. Direct, directed Queen of Magician, which was my show, uh, and Brad was in as the villain. <laughs> <laughs> so off brand. So off brand. <laughs> um, yeah, she was immediately like, we're taking submissions. So like, yeah. I don't know if I'm organized for 2022, but. Yeah, I but it feels like Harper Rally because you know she and some another person are writing a, a co-writing a book called Caroline Bingley Private Investigator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard about that. I'm like, mm. excuse me, I want in. There was a project, and I believe it was something similar where like you put me and Charmini together on Twitter, and I was like, I want in. Yeah, I it want was. In. It was because of that book. It was because of that book. Yeah. So I'm, they're in third draft now. Uh, How dare they? Uh, they were supposed to involve me. <laughs> uh, they can send a draft to you for yeah. anything. Yeah, send it. Send me, send me, send me, send me. I want to do it. I well, tagged you with the. I tagged you with the conversation again. Uh, um, Shamini Kumar from Twenty Four Carrot Productions, as in the vegetables, uh, does a lot of. Her work is like one of two things: adaptations of English literature, mostly Austen, but she's done Shakespeare. Badass people in history you didn't realize were Asian. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So I felt like this is like a both. Yep. In the one. She has. She's not much of a video game person. So I don't try. I'm gonna explain the great Ace Attorney to her. But she was like the first to respond with like I'm down. Yeah. So I feel like I feel like she'd be, she'd be a good match. <laughs> Pop see you right there. <laughs> oh, sorry, am I making noise? Was it you? I don't yes. know who it was. <laughs> was it you? I, I, I saw the name light up. So ah. it's... Have you, oh. have you, um, have you like, uh, sorted that contradiction out or? No, no, I'm going to. You're going to, okay. All yeah. right. We have pressed everything. Moment of Here truth. We go. Here we go. Okay. Should I start voicing sometime soon? I think once we get a hold it, probably would be like a good chance. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Your books! Woo! My books? No. <laughs> no, your, your books! books. <laughs> um, if, if I could just stop you there, Inspector Gregson. What is it, sunshine? I'm a busy man, you know. Uh, this is the receipt that we found in Mr. Natsume's room. It was issued on the day of the incident and details the purchase of three second-hand books. And you found that in the accused's room, did you? Yes, but the point is not where the receipt was found, but the name of the shop printed on it. Go on. <laughs> this receipt was issued from a bookshop called Your Books. 
Your books? Y O R E, I presume. No, Y O U R. They they specifically mentioned your books. <laughs> yes, my lord. So Mr. Natsume did indeed purchase a number of books by secondhand bookshop that day. However, the bookshop in question was not Bourbon Books. I am. <laughs> Music change. What? Oh, um, also, if we are trying to figure out if you can get the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra on board for this possible stage adaptation. Yeah, of yeah, Great yeah. Greatest. I have, I have already yeah. said I will talk to my friend. So we'll see. Ah. We'll see. Yes, we'll see. Uh, Maria's connections and also <laughs> MSO. Because they do stuff with video games. Uh, they do the soundtrack for or Psychonauts. They have a long relationship with Double Fine, apparently. So, and apparently they're like open to ideas. Yeah. Like they they say yes to anything. So like, ooh, <laughs> they sound just like me at the bathhouse. Um. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry, everybody. No, 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 It's fine. It's only an hour. You you, you managed to go a whole hour without the <laughs> No, I fully support the reason why you said that. <laughs> <laughs> you two are dangerous together. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh that reminds me. Yeah, you're oh. doing it whether you like it or not. Optimistic, optimistic nihilism tour. tour oh, I thought tour. you were saying oh. I'm doing a bathhouse whether I like it or not. I was like, I wish I could. Look, um, no, listen, look you don't I have do to stop him. That, even if, uh, no, you don't have to stop him from yes, doing a bathhouse, sure. okay? <laughs> I mean, now I would like to do a bathhouse. I've been able to stop him from doing a bathhouse before, believe me. <laughs> um, I mean, I would love to do a bathhouse, but they don't seem to be very open for people of my gender presentation and body so hmm. uh, it, it does depend because there are some there are some bathhouses that are more, more open to all genders but yeah, yeah. yes but also are they open to me yeah, well i'll be sitting around lonely because no one yeah, is attractive yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. you want to know the line uh, <laughs> oh, I've, never, I've never been asked i've never been asked that at the bathhouse so i want to do a line okay um <laughs> inspector <laughs> What sort of line? Do you know this little bookshop? Y yes, sir. Your books is another second-hand bookshop not far from Bourbon Books. It's just that... Well, it's such a small space. I, I, I didn't think the accused would have known about it. Objection! So it's like you're not seeing hipster confirmed. But in fact, that is the bookshop which the defendant visited on the day in question. And this receipt proves it! Objection! Yes, for what difference it makes. Wherever the man purchases musty terms, it makes no difference in the final analysis. Objection! I disagree! I mean, after all, uh... Get I have the street map here, if that might be of help. <laughs> oh, um, yes, thank you. Have a look at this, please. If the defendant had been returning from Bourbon Books, then yes, he would almost certainly have passed the place where Miss Green was attacked. However, if you take into account the fact that he was actually at another bookshop, your books, it may very well turn out that he wouldn't have passed that location at all. Could that be true? My, my, travel depends on where this other bookshop is, but I do declare it may be a possibility. Is that right, Mr. Lawyer, sir? What you just said? Absolutely, it absolutely could be right. Above the uh, peanut gallery. <laughs> Inspector Gregson, where is this your books establishment? Well, um, obviously we looked into that. Did you really? <laughs> it turns out that your books are in your bookshelf. 
it's just here on the next corner of Misham Street going east. And there you have it. As you can clearly see now. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> He's got another bottle of wine and glass again. He is. He, he has a I little bit. Our Nipponese friend is obviously enjoying to be a clown the way he regales us with such witticisms. So, um, in the previous Ace Attorney games, there was, um, oh God, what's this? A name? meme. No, let him, let him finish this line. Then we can talk about the meme. Listen. Your future career in the circus. <laughs> so there's a meme. You put that Someone... glass down now. I'll put it down for you. Someone, there's a meme was going around the internet the past year or so, um, where someone had taken a, a screenshot of like Edgeworth, and they changed the text to say like, "You are not the clown. You are the entire circus," <laughs> which has not been in. People think it's in the game. It's not in any of the games. But like, mm. so when people saw like Benzik saying that, they're like, oh, the meme has ascended. They noticed. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What I was talking about is there's another uh, uh, prosecutor in this attorney game that has coffee constantly. And we were joking about they're actually oh, having Godot. to be... Oh, Godot. That actually has, <laughs> ha has to be like off screen, an actual barrister with a coffee cart in the uh, courtroom, constantly sending him coffees. And I'm like, is there a bar? Is there like a, a bar? Oh! Yes, it's not personal, like a yeah. sommelier. Like, you know, yes, why? what is Under this? the table. I know. Just like a, like, <laughs> just... Can we, oh my God! Can we put that in the stage production? Oh, like, just a sommelier. Like, yeah, constantly <laughs> somebody under the table, one of the crew constantly coming out and putting... <laughs> I think that would be funny. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> okay. I didn't think I need to spell it out, but here we go. If, if the accused was coming down from your books instead of bourbon books, bourbon books, rather. Barista, barista. <laughs> there's no doubt he would have passed the, still passed the place where the victim was stabbed. Come the other way. Yes, yeah, thank you, Inspector. Uh... Allow me to reiterate for my learned, if somewhat slow, Nipponese friend. <laughs> Whatever the man purchases musty tomes, it makes no difference in the final analysis. No, I, I love I, I love Brad's reactions to this guy whenever he <laughs> goes off like and like he's going up in levels of like you know crashing things around. I can't wait till we get to the leg part. I just I really can't wait to get to the leg part. Oh for for the legs? Yes. For the leg Oh the leg Suki has died. As I suspected you can't fool me and I don't suggest you try Oh, what do I say? Hey, I've had enough of this now! Beg your pardon? Terribly sorry, but would you mind repeating that? Mr. Narukodo, we mustn't give up. What do you mean? If the prosecution's assertion is correct, the members of the jury may very well decide that Mr. Natsume is guilty. Ah! She's absolutely right! We must that think. be obvious. We must consider <laughs> the assertion just put forward by the prosecution very, very carefully. They claim Shuseki-san must have passed the location of the incident on his way home from your books, but... I'm gonna raise an objection. Should I... Please. Never in any of these games do you not raise an objection. The assertion this made by the prosecution is fundamentally flawed. Explain yourself, Council. I have to teach you how to walk down the street, uh, okay? Uh, yes, my lord. You can see what I mean on this map. When returning from your books to his lodgings, Mr. Natsume could have followed the route suggested by the prosecution. 
However, that isn't the only conceivable route to take between the two places. If you decide to use these streets, look what happens! He arrives back at his logics without passing the location where the victim was attacked. Objection! Talking back to a clown is a fool's errand, of course. However, I feel compelled to point out that... That route is what is commonly referred to as the long way round. Ah. Bam. A cold winter's night, why would any man choose to take a longer route home? Well, uh, uh, if you're the type who doesn't pay attention to what's going on or where they are. Or if you're new to the place. <laughs> Hughes took the obvious route back to his lodging and is the obvious perpetrator of this crime. Objection! But, 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 <laughs> aha, yes, I've got it! Obviously, we must ask the man himself. Ask Mr. Natsume which route he took home. And have already informed the court of the accused's response to such questioning. He claims he has no recollection. <sighs> That's right. As I said, the Blake seems to spend spend his time outside wander and in Wander Street from A to B. Sorry, we just it there. That day was no exception. He says he doesn't remember where he was or which fruit he took home. We just rule out his option though. I don't, it doesn't. I don't believe this. Yeah, he doesn't rule out Rionis took his thing though. I thank you, my learned friend. And suggest that we do not waste any more of the court's time by wandering aimlessly around this subject. Hey, okay, what say you insightful jurors? <laughs> but, but even if that's the case, the defense still... Nope. I agree with Lord Van Zeeks. Wholeheartedly and in every way. Ooh! What? I don't believe it. Does that mean? Well, we, members of the jury, are completely convinced now. No. Very well. In that case, I hereby call upon the members of all the members of the jury. Oh, this to next bit was acted. Your findings to the court. Guilty. This next bit acted. Guilty. 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 The word guilty makes no sense to me anymore when I hear that. Uh oh. Yeah, to keep your guilty for good. Good. It would appear that the jury's leaning is unanimous. <laughs> oh. Here. To the inside. The insightful members of the jury, I applaud your brave resolve. You save Queen and Country admirably. Mr. Naruhodo. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. This isn't over yet. Mm. I still have one last chance to sway the opinion of the jury. Oh, friends, I have to quickly duck off so I can just go grab dinner before curfew. Do you mind if I duck off for about 10 15 minutes? Yeah, no, that's fine. Go eat. Go eat. Go, go, eat. go for it. Go eat. I will return. Okay. I will be and I will be back. I will be back. Yeah, it will be mostly jury stuff anyway, so you'll be fine. Yeah. So, okay. Mute and I shall return. Right. Those are the eyes of Cory, not yet willing to give up and die. Budget bread. So I presume you intend to wield your rights again in this trial? 
Rights of the defense written into antiquated British law that should have been buried long ago. Call it antiquated if you will. But the defense prerogative to carry out a summation exam examination if he so chooses. Right. I'm just like imagining this on stage. Hops it! Very well, Council. In accordance with the letter of the law, we shall proceed with the summation examination. Are the members of the jury ready, Mr. Foreman? Of course we're ready. I'm all too familiar with that Japanese whippersnapper and his onkus refusal to throw in his alley. What? Very well then. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you will each explain on what grounds you have determined the defendant to be guilty. For pity's sake, that little Japanese oddity already met it himself, didn't he? Oh god, it's turning me to Britain, sorry. <laughs> if he said that a woman in green collapsed before his eyes, why could... Well, it can only have been the victim. The man would have gone around the house and was on his way back from the bush, but not in winter. But the poor woman was attacked from behind, was she? How dreadful. I really don't care. Can we just wrap this up now? I've got work to be doing. That's you, I think, Mike. <laughs> Your books, yes. Nice shot, that. Of the books. No, not worth the visit. Not much information there. No. With only minor exceptions, the reasons for finding the, the defendant guilty are all too clear. Apathy. <laughs> when the stabbing occurred, the only two people at the scene were the victim and the accused. Oh, sorry. Miss, you want to do it? And the accused himself has... The girl take turns to be him. <laughs> Seeing the victim in a green overcoat sink to the ground before his eyes. Furthermore, we have heard from the inspector that the defendant then fled the scene. I must say, I would have ample grounds to convict this man already. Oh dear, even the judge appears convinced of Mr. Natsume's guilt now. Uh, why did he have to run away like that? And how are we supposed to believe in some phantom attacker that nobody could see? Is this impossible? How can I possibly make a case for the defense? Mr. Naruhodo, this is no time for grumbling. If we want to force the trial to continue... Yes, I know. I have to turn the tide. I must make the jurors change their minds. Well, four of them at least. Exactly, we have no choice but to forge forward. You have the floor, Council. Begin your summation examination. Yes, my lord. I just need to keep this trial going somehow, whatever it takes. Come on, Rinosuke, you can do it. Also notably, this is the only Ace Attorney game where the def the attorneys have legs. Yes, I know. Like I'm, everybody was getting so excited, like he could walk up and down. <laughs> but they never animated. For pity's sake, that little Nipponese oddity already admitted it himself, didn't he? Can you press on everyone without any? Yeah. Okay, so I can press. I should. Hold it. Uh, excuse me, but... Aren't you? Yes, that's right. I was in the witness stand myself just two days ago. Yes, I had a feeling I knew your face. Or the side of it, anyway. 
That's why they had to show magic legs. <laughs> you remember correctly, you're a banker, aren't you? That's right. After the gold rush down under, I came to London to work. There you go. And it was all going swimmingly until you started fussicking around. Bruce Fairplay was a man of repute. Sorry? Don't think I've forgotten how you treated me the other day. <laughs> you had me that young hatter pegged as criminals. Oh, uh, well, you know, what are the bridge? Now, there's all sorts of rumours buzzing around, and the police have been badgering me non-stop. If, if, if I could turn back the clock. Well, anyway, I don't know about the hatter, but at least I'm in the clear now. And free to make up my own mind about who's guilty and who isn't. Oh, thank goodness. Right, maybe I might struggle to shame this man. So oh dear, I wonder what's become of Mr. First. Mr. Lady First. If he said that a woman in green collapsed before his eyes, why? Cannot he have been the victim? Hold it! You're yeah, right there at the time of the incident. The defendant admits to having seen someone wearing a green overcoat and walking ahead of him. Oh, quite. That's precisely my point. Clearly, that someone wearing green was the victim. And clearly, that funny little Nipponese man with the disturbing moustache is the culprit. But let's not forget, madam, the defendant vehemently denies attacking the woman. Why, of course he does. If he admits to stabbing her, his life is over. The man is Fair obviously point. a liver-faced <laughs> coward, honestly. Claiming the woman simply collapsed before his eyes. But if that's a lie as you're suggesting, do you not think he would have concocted something more credible? Oh, I really couldn't say. After all, you're what you are. Foreign. Who's to say what goes oof, through oof. your funny little minds? Oof. Big oof. I could tell you what's going through my funny little mind right now, but you wouldn't like it. <laughs> I do declare the man has already made the admission. He himself has stated that there was nobody else around. Surely the conclusion is obvious. No one else could have possibly committed this awful crime. Uh -huh. If no one else could have done it, the accused must be the man. Really, it couldn't be more simple. Your argument is compelling its simplicity, I must admit. Oh my, you're too kind, my lord. That went well. For her. The man wouldn't have gone around the houses on his way back to the bookshop. Not in winter. But you can't deny that there are other rubs Mr. Nasume could have taken back from your books. Oh yes, like you drew in the map to me. What was it? Calabash Road or something? Summit? Precisely. I like this pose where he rests his hand on his sword like this. Then. His best friend. I, I'm, sword. A, I'm a little teapot except I'm holding my sword. <laughs> very, I'm, a, I'm a little teapot holding the sword. <laughs> Ahem, hello. Let me, let me show you what I'm not overcompensating for. But it seems to me that what counts is whether the little Japanese follow actually went that way or not. Well, yes, that's true. And at the moment, there's no proof that shows he did, is there? Tom, what's looking logically? Well, uh, yes, that's true as well. And as I understand it, the accused himself doesn't remember which way he went, does he?
What's up? Uh, I kind of miss your sister in the chat, Mari. Because she would respond a lot to yeah. my <laughs> stage production thing. Give me a hundred ideas. Of course. Did I scare her off? Did no, I? no. No. I don't think you did. I think it's just like she said. It, we had a family chat and she did say like... Um, just want to look at something here. East side of drive. Okay, right. So... It's just that she's, she said in the chat, um, our family called that she has not been sleeping properly and stuff. So she probably messaged me going, I overslept, sorry! Or something. In a bit. Well, what, if she comes back, I will mention the stage production team because I think she'll have a lot of fun with it. Hey, Barrister, Barrister, favorite animation is the Y41. Yes, that's why they have to show up when Zeke's legs. Oh, because they showed up. You know, so okay. Yeah, it's like, now that you've learned how to. Uh, render legs in this game. Yes. Like the only other time you see anyone's legs is in the Edgeworth Investigations game, and they're like tiny moments. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's annoying history. Winter nights are dark and cold, so the way I see it, you want to get home as quickly as possible. Yeah, that's right. It's true. They do this before, though, you could have easily gone lost. So really, the only thing that makes sense is that he went home along Briar Road. Ah, I'm supposed to be convincing you here. I have given it a lot of thought, you know. I didn't just make up my mind on a whim that he did it. I mean, there was some logical reason why he might have gone the Calabash Roadway to be different. I'd be happy to reconsider my position in that case. Honest, I would. Hmm. Are you surprised Soseki-san might have taken the longer way home? Yes, a good reason. I don't imagine you will be able to sway this young man's opinion without me. So the poor woman was attacked from behind, was she? How dreadful! Hold it! Whatever's the matter, young man? You're the wife of Mr. Gaidev, aren't you? The landlord who rents Mr. Natsume his room? <gasps> the master's wife? Where do you get your ideas, sir? The maid, the maid, you understand? Oh, too bad, friends, me. Is keeping up the charade? Uh, oh, this is gonna be awkward. Why didn't you mention this yesterday? That you'd been selected for the jury in this trial, I mean. Well, I was told not to mention it to anyone until the day of the trial, you see. It was in the letter I received. The instructions were very clear, so I'm afraid I had no choice. I see. Anyway, Mr. Natsume, the defendant, takes lodging in your... master's house, doesn't he? Yes, that's right. Although he's only been in a little over a week now. And in that time, surely you must have taken stock of his character. Does this not to me look like the kind of man who would commit a crime since this, this? Oh, that's a dangerous question. Oh my goodness me, yes! It's just the sort. What? Spending all this time in a dark and dingy room, sporting that unscrupulous moustache? The man never speaks! And don't get me started on the shifty eyes! All the neighbors are talking about him. I've heard them, you know. People think he must be building a bomb in there or something. Oh, oh. Oh dear, poor Mr. Natsume. How could people say such things about him? Racism! He, he's just a harmless bookworm, nothing more. Well, they just called him a worm, so... Anyway, I'd better be careful in writing this maid to speak. Could have damning things already. I really don't care! Can we just wrap this up? Now I've got work to be doing! A man's life is on the line here, sir. This will take as long as it takes. Don't get with me now, son. My life's on the line, too. And so is my family's. Ah. The likes of you wouldn't understand, but a laborer like me can't afford to take time off. 
If I don't work, I don't eat, and neither do the wife and kids. Oh, I see. That must be very hard. I go to the union every morning to find out what he's doing. If you're late and the work's taken, it's tough. Is that how unions work? Um, for laborers... It was. Su yeah, laborers such as him in the 1800s, um, yeah, the union would take in all the requests, like a guild, and you'd have okay. to come and get work, but it would often be gone that first come, first serve. So, so that, like a temp agency. Yeah, it was sort of an agency because then they could control the price. They could say everybody works at that same rate and nobody undercuts anyone. And yeah, huh. that sort of thing. And then they'd also take um, responsibility for skill level. They do a lot of the training and stuff. And so they could, they were the in-between people, the middlemen, so they could control then the conditions and stuff as well. They could argue for conditions and they could stop work on mass. If Why don't they do that now? Because of John Howard. <laughs> really? Yeah, because yeah of, that's the short answer. Yeah, because of the laws. that the, it, it is about how the law regulates how trade unions can act and not act and what they can and can't do. So ever since work choices pretty much came in and now we've got the fair work version of work choices basically. The people at the Fair Work Commission are very nice people, but they also are hampered by the kind of laws they have to enact upon everybody else, so, you know? So. I didn't realize it was like that recent a change. It's been slowly whittled away at over time. I think it's sometime in the 80s, they probably would have tried a little bit, but then we had like very good labor governments nationally. Um, and, you know, so John Howard coming in was a push against strong what they saw a strong labor opposition and stuff. Huh. And actually, so I used to live in Fremantle and uh, there's a, the Esplanade Hotel is on Fremantle and it's right near one of the areas near the port. So Fremantle is like a port city. And there's a bench there and it's a very historic bench because the, the port workers would come and sit there and wait for a bell to ring because then they could run from there to the offices to go get the work to unload uh, ships and stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's like you've got these little bits and pieces all around. Yeah. And you can, you can sit on that bench right now. It's just on the portico of the, the hotel. And there was, uh, the hotel is it's like a business hotel now, but it used to be like a pub kind of place. So they go sit there, have a drink and like it's somewhere close enough to the office, custom offices, where they could hear the bell ring and they could run. Wow. Yeah. There the takeaway from all this is, fuck you, John Howard. Very <laughs> 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 uh, much so. Um, I also wanted to say, even the last case, there was a union person in seat number five. Yeah, there was a, there's a whole union situation there too. Yeah, it's like so. It's like seat number five is like the union seat for this journey. <laughs> Apparently, <laughs> actually, I'm thinking thing. ahead, and that's true though. Yeah. <laughs> so this time of year, like, oh yeah, like you know, there'll be freezing pipes and stuff. Can you imagine gas fires or cold? <laughs> I was filling it for you for this guy. <laughs> so you were out digging up the roads on the day of the incident as well, were you? But imagine if equity was where you got all your costumes. That's right. right. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, the issue with that is I guess like you technically you can provide all of that, but now you don't have the money to do that. To put that on and also pay the staff at the union properly to do it. So that's always I'll send all your self tapes to equity <laughs> In fact, if I remember right, I, it was just round the corner from where it all happened. The old bookshop it was. <laughs> so we're trying yes. to make a case. So a bunch of people were like, why would you have gone the wrong long way around? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Like What? Another co yeah, the jurors are weirdly coincidental. Me a show. Misham Street it was. Misham Street. (laughs) 
You're number five. I need you to add that information to a formal statement, please. See, sir, it's important. <laughs> you are going very quickly. <laughs> Sorry. What oh, happened? I was digging up beers from straight from door to desk. Ugh. Uh. You're right there. Shall I press it again? <laughs> what'd, you get for, what'd you get for dinner? Oh, I got Guzman Gourmet. <laughs> Ooh, hey! Dog. What specifically? A burrito bowl, and I also got myself a taco. <laughs> nice. A little taco. That's right, like I said, you got lots of burst gas and water pipes underground in the middle of winter. It's the only time of year fellows like me can actually make a few bob. And I'm missing out today! And uh, when you say from dawn till dusk... Well, the work has to be completed within the night scene. No coaches or pedestrians can pass while it's happening. I wonder if I could trouble you, sir, to mark on this street map the exact location of the works we're carrying out? Give it here, then. Let me have a look. Right, let's see, then. Well, me sound straight. Yes, it was just here, like. Oh, twist. It was a nice dig, I can tell you. We had to get through all the drifts of snow that had frozen solid. And at what sort of time did you finish the work? We start in the morning. We kind of finished before going six, I'd say. No, it's not coming down, but it was long past dark for sure. The road work was still going on when this green was attacked at around 5 o'clock. Road to Mirshawn Street. Ah. Okay, I, I want to press this guy and then come back and do the pitting against, yeah. okay? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hold it! Hmm? Sorry? Fold it, you say? Fold what? <laughs> no, no, no. What I said was hold it! What I wanted to ask was, do you visit your books often? I like the old books they have in there, yes. I enjoy reading them over a nice cup of old tea. That's my daily routine, you see. Same thing every day, including the day you're all talking about. And at what time do you visit your books on the day in question? Well, I was picking out books in there all afternoon and it would have been just before 5 that I left. That's my daily routine, you see. Same thing every day, including the day you're all talking about. Just before 5, you say. Exactly when the victim was attacked. <sighs> Are you sure about the time? Oh yes, no mistake there. I remember it well. I'm not about to forget that day in a hurry. Not after the dreadful time I had. What do you mean? Well, I was walking down Calabash Road when I slipped on the ice and dumped my head. It's always worse after the snow stopped falling. Well, that's when it's most slippery. Knocked myself clean out, I did. I really thought my number was up. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. This happened on Calabash Road? That's right, I live in Cornpipe, you see. Heading down Calabash Road is the quickest way for me to get back from your books. Juror number six, I must insist that you add an information to your formal statement. It may very well be extremely significant. Huh? Sorry? Extremely sick? No, no, I'm quite alright now. <laughs> it sends a shiver down my spine to hear the members of the jury so convinced of Mr. Natsume's guilt. But I can't help feeling that some of their opinions are rather subjective. I agree. It's the irrelevance of what some of them are saying that sends a shiver down my spine. Still, at least on the assertions are actually incriminating Mr. Natsume of anything. That's something. We must use that to advantage, Mr. Narukoda. Cunning move. Yes, you're right. Listen to the dealer as again carefully. 
So you, have you figured out what you're gonna do? Yeah, I'm going to pick three and five against each other, but hey, oh, hold on a second. Um, and then if if Ju I want to see what Jura Six has said, whether he's changed his statement because he didn't hear us. It's safe. It's always safe. You don't have to say it. It's fine. Right. It's fine. Yeah. 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 Did he change his thing? Okay, right, so he's changed his thing. Um... Oh, hello, finding Eileen, feline. Hello. Objection. They're following you. Hold on a second. Those two statements are clearly at odds with one another. Oh. Okay. Both of whom are uh, played by oh. Brad. Oh, thank you for following <laughs> Finding Filene. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> finding Filene. Da, da, do, do, do. I'll get copyright <laughs> struck if I song. keep Every time someone follows you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Eileen. I was sitting. Come on, Eileen. Oh, okay. But Eileen said that joke all her life. <laughs> Poor old Eileen. Oh, I'm, I'm Eileen. sorry. I'm lurking away from keyboard. <laughs> oh. oh, do we not? Oh, it's Eileen, a friend of yours. No, I have no idea. I've never met her, Eileen. I'm sure Eileen is wonderful. Eileen, Eileen, might, Eileen might be anybody. No, Eileen. Eileen. And yeah, if okay, that's cool. You can just listen to us. It's fine. Yeah, it's cool. Eileen's gonna write a comment saying, "Andrew, shut up." <laughs> <laughs> At odds, cancel. Explain yourself. Please don't point. It wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> well, I just want to get this done and dusted. And it does drive with Eileen, says Eileen. Well, juror number three. Oh, me, sir? Well, what do you mean? Juror number five's words just now are extremely significant. Let's take a moment to consider the implications of what we would said on our map of the local area. On the day in question, Mr. Natsume visited this bookshop to purchase a number of secondhand books. And on the same day, we now know that there were works being carried out on Mirsham Street, making it impossible. Which means that the defendant's route home Could not have taken him along Mearsham Street and down Briar Road. Oh, yes, of course! What do you think, sir? Well, yeah, you gotta argue with that, really, can you? That's had a good two yards or more of the pavement out. Every gentleman and jump woman that came along had to turn back and go the other way. So, the only conclusion is this. The defendant must have taken the longer route back to his lodgings. Yes, I suppose he must have. I uh, suppose it must be wrong, eh? Juror number three, you said the following. The man wouldn't have gone around the houses on his way back from the bookshop. You see now that he had yeah, no, no choice. choice. He almost has your hair, Brad. Yes! Mm. <laughs> Lord, Mr. Judge, sir, if I may! And yes, your bow tie is only. You could cosplay the guy. Uh, I don't think it's all good conscience that I can say the man's guilty now. Why, why do I you keep what? thinking that this is like uh, a little more porridge, sir? Please, sir, some more accent. <laughs> 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 it's very Oliver. Why is it? Why is it so Oliver to me? I don't know. It doesn't look like he's uh, so Oliver. <laughs> I can see that though. Okay. Yep. Please, sir. Okay. Oh, why is it more, sir? <laughs> like you've got the suit. You all you need is like a a brown jacket and a hat. It's well, I'm true. Sure, I'm sure. Yes, I'd like to see this trial continue so we get to the bottom of what really happened. Oh, me? 
Well, all right then. Yeah, the hole in the prosecution's argument should be filled in, that's what I say. It's funny because he's a labourer, so of course he'd want a hole filled in. <laughs> Uh, the bath has a good place to get your holes filled at it time. Filth! Nothing but filth! Uh -huh. This is a family friendly production! No, it ain't. <laughs> well, we made to change a couple of minds at least. It's strengthened our position somewhat. Wait, that's my life, sorry. Oh, no, that's your life, right? No, that is my life. Okay. That is one. Yes, and it will prompt the other members of the jury to reconsider their stance as well. They'll be asking themselves if their current ladies are really right or not. I have I have noticed something about what the statement should be in relation to, to, to something very interesting about this show, but if I say it will be a spoiler. I might figure it out. Hey? Oh. Uh, could just identify one more clue discrepancy that would make them stop the There, That's exactly what we've got to do. Van 6 is looking to bring his child to an early conclusion. That's what we have to prevent by whatever means you have at disposal. And of course. <laughs> Thank you, Council. Yeah. On with this amazing yes, my lord. Please. There, there is a very weird coincidence that has popped up as a uh, result of us playing this game with the with the correct answers. But I want Mari to figure this out. But I only just realized it. I'm like, ha ha. ha. <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, wait! Coincidence that has popped up. Say it again. Coincidence that has popped up as a result with of our what? playthrough. Yes. As it regards to what the correct answers are. Ah, okay. Right. They're both voiced by the same person. Yep, okay. <laughs> no, I, I I knew that because I, I, I told you it was gonna be like three and five and then two and six and I am going to both, I know that. Oh I didn't I did I didn't know you had already figured out two and six. Yeah yeah no, I, no, only no. Three and five. I knew two and six, but th my point was that's why I went back and looked at the statements again okay, because it just went to the next part of the conversation without letting me know whether number six had changed his statement. So. <laughs> I just thought that we naturally gravitated to like the people who actually have something to do with each other. <laughs> like you all knew ahead of time. Yeah. So, hold on. I wanna go see what her statement is again. Yeah, this way. I thought it was weirdly nice! murdered. <laughs> Objection. Those two statements that clearly show a flaw in the Jewish reasoning. A flaw? What are you talking about, Council? There's a thing under my feet. Well, juror number two. Juror number six? My, whatever do you mean, sir? That's a lot of I think perhaps the old man didn't hear you. Unbelievable. It's not like I was loud or anything. He <laughs> yeah, no inside voice, bro. There is at least one fact of which we can be sure here. The bookshop receipt from the defendant's room clearly indicates that on the day of the attack, he had been to your books and purchased a number of secondhand titles. He then returned home on foot. I'm also just realizing the guy has footsteps. I had not noticed that before. Yeah, no, it's here in there. But the man says he has no recollection of his return journey. That's correct. But what he does remember is seeing someone appear in front of him on the way. Someone in the green overcoat who suddenly collapsed on the pavement before his eyes. Yes, we are all well aware of this. The poor young woman who was stabbed, obviously. Objection! Can we really be sure of that, madam? Why? Whatever do you mean? I'm sure you heard your number six account of what happened to him that day. That same afternoon, there was somebody else apart from the victim. Who was wearing a green overcoat and who fell over on the icy streets in the neighborhood? Oh, my. <gasps> <gasps> You, you know. <laughs> That's right. I'm referring, of course, to hard of hearing juror number six. 
with the amazing beard. Uh, are you really suggesting that the person in the green overcoat whom the defendant saw collapse in front of his eyes was the jolly old gentleman on the edge of the bench here with me today? That is entirely possible, yes. After all, the old man has a somewhat similar build to the victim. Hey, look at that! <gasps> My goodness me! Sorry, you need a pee? <laughs> <laughs> and crucially, we know precisely where the old man in the green overcoat fell. Therefore, if the person who Mr. Natsume saw collapsing in front of him was in fact juror number 6, it means the defendant must have taken the long route back to his lodgings. And if that's true, then clearly, the crime scene on Briar Road where the woman was stabbed was not on his way home. Oh my! Oh, man, if you haven't been so dumb, just be running about there, we have boxed yourself hours ago. And really, what were you thinking wearing such a big puddling coat? What did you say to me? Is it a crime for the elderly to walk the streets these days? Hmm? Is it a crime to slip over on the ice? Is it a crime to keep up with the latest styles and wear a beautiful green overcoat? Is it? <laughs> It won't cause any inconvenience, but... You'd like to change your leaning, I presume? I do declare that I would. I should like to call for a verdict of not guilty. <laughs> Thank you! And I would too. What? Is it a crime to change your mind, is it? When do you go to court nowadays and that's <laughs> what they do? <laughs> it's I, only. I was wondering what Brad would think of this whole jewelry system once he saw the flames. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's not the least fair system of justice that I've seen. <laughs> and it's well, a jury this time. Uh, no. Andrew? That's yep. amazing. Oh, Sorry. Go. 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 That summation examination is concluded with a rather large shift in opinion. The eyes, two. The nose, four. So the nose has. The eye, two eyes and four noses. <laughs> <laughs> Not I guilty, they say. Which means we no longer have a consensus among the members of the jury. The trial will continue. It's so funny because I can hear Andrew like two seconds before his voice is in my headphones. Objection! <laughs> but it seemed churlish of me to drink from my hallowed chalice moments after raising an objection. What is this Phantom of the Opera music? I don't like it! Comic! Love this song! I love this song! This dangerous waltz, although I can hear the Phantom of the Opera on the to crush it in disgust! Hey, forgive the discourtesy. It's very much the typical vampire organ piano thing. Piano organ, whatever I, it is. It never occurred to me the Phantom of the Opera thing until you mentioned it. And I no, can't no, no, that. this bit of it. <laughs> this he bit does of have it very is... strong vampire energy. So. Yeah, this bit of it. The walls part is fine. It was that bit before with the organ pipes, like. <laughs> what that Zeke's? Show the leg. <laughs> it seems I must attack my earlier remark. His leg is when we actually break him down. Break him down. Oh, okay. What do you mean? I mistakenly credited these jurors with intelligence by describing them as insightful. 
yet we have just witnessed them falling for a cheap trick performed by an Eastern entertainer. Well, at least you're not calling us Oriental. <laughs> Whatever do you mean? Objection! I haven't tricked anyone! Everything I've said is the truth! Indeed. So, what drawer number five is undoubtedly preparing the road as he claims. I believe he saw, said it was a good two yards of the pavement which you had excavated, sir. That's right, took me the whole day and they paid me amazing tuppence for it. Now, my oh. learned Nepanese friend, tell me. Do you have any notion of the distance that two yards represents? Not really. Uh, well... If I'm honest, I don't have a clue. No, <laughs> neither do I. In in like, Tiara. Don't, <laughs> don't undo my hard work. Two yards is a little less than two meters. So I'm two yards tall. Less than two meters. That's not much at all. In other words, a distance readily vaulted by any one of moderate vigor. Yeah, just does because you've like got the legs for accident? it doesn't mean everybody else does. Just <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> like someone drawn speak to me, like springing along. <laughs> Would you not agree, my stalwart friend? Why are you calling him friend? He's in the front. Me? Well, I can't say you wrong, no. What? And did you perchance erect a sign to prevent pedestrians from passing the site of your works? Who wouldn't dream of it? What a waste of time! Our coaches would have had a hope of passing anyway, and we didn't turn any gentlefolk back when they came. It's just jumped right over us all the time! The accused is no gentleman, as far as I can see. Oof. I have little doubt, however, that he could spring over a two-yard trench in his meanderings around town. My my client is not oh. Charlie Chaplin, despite the moustache. <laughs> is that true, is it? This is the incontrovertible truth is that the books just purchased by the accused were found at the scene. There can be no doubt that on his way back to his lodgings, Mr. Natsumi walked down Briar Road. What was that? <coughs> Don't undo everything, God Almighty. Crushed in a single sentence. Old man. Go, man! Oh, you man. can't talk! <laughs> you say that around five o'clock of the day in question, you slipped and fell on Calabash Road. Hey, was there a suspicious looking Nepanese behind you at the time? Oh, I, I uh, can't say as I remember. You don't remember? How about a wager, my learned friend? You say it was this old man that the accused saw. I would lay a thousand to one against you being able to prove it. Hobbsy is missing. <laughs> Old man Zinx, explain yourself! Sorry. Okay! <laughs> My lord. If you had such a trenchant argument up your sleeve, why in the world did you not proffer it during the summation examination? Hmm. I wanted to give this young foreign student the sighting experience he no doubt came for. I wanted him to see for himself how the opinion of the jury is so readily swayed. Because oh. I think that was a fact in the last case. Oh. But my hospitality has its limits and they have been reached, I feel. Oh, oh. oh off comes the cloak! My learned friend, today's sightseeing tour of London is now over. Have you, have you not seen this before, Marie? Oh, uh, I think like I've forgotten that. Like it was late in the last case that he actually finally threw the cloak. 
cl cloak away, I think. It, it took us a while before we got to the point where he was throwing cloaks and What are you talking about? My lord! This the prosecution up. requests permission to call its next witnesses to the stand. The other um, influence I was thinking of when I saw him was a little bit labyrinth king. Oh, king David Bowie, yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. Looks like everything meshed into that. And also slightly. Love it! Also slightly Adam Ant with this bloody epaulets and. Ah! Oh, the Beatles also. Well, the Queen Lady the Magician Beatles. jacket has. A Mil lot of apologist. Um, military style beetleish adamantish vibes. Granted. Bailiff, bring forth the witnesses. It's it's next witnesses. Mr. Hanaruhoto, do you not remember? We've been told on several occasions that there were eyewitnesses to the incident. Yes, I remember one of them being a scholarly young policeman, no less. I'm afraid that's likely to be the prosecution's next next witness. I suspect the cop. All right. No matter who Van Zeke brings to stand as he witness, and no matter what they say, I believe in Soseki Isad. I know he's innocent, and I'll keep believing the very end. And this battle is over. No cat person can be guilty of anything. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> Witnesses, please what? state your names and occupations to the court. Was that your Marriott. gasp of delight at- Oh my god, I didn't go! <laughs> <laughs> just wait, just wait. Turn oh. off these two. Oh dear. Wait. Is he, is he a narcoleptic? Oh my god. He's just very tired. Oh! Who wants to take on this too? I feel like Mari, you and Hopsy needs to do this too. <laughs> Constable Rolly Pizza! Nothing to report on the street, sir! <laughs> I don't know, Andrew, do you want to do him? I'll do her. What? Okay. Ooh. That's what I say at the bathhouse too. Um. <laughs> Are you doing. Uh, I'm, doing, I doing, I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing Patricia. And I'm Mrs. Beat. Patricia's my name. I'm proud to say I'm this young town hero's wife. Yeah, so it's packed and roll. Patrol. Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rolly beat, patrolly beat. Uh, oh, no. What's the story here? Well, in truth, we've not been married long. In fact, we celebrated our first anniversary only the other day. No, no, it was your husband I was asking about. He seems... tired. Hardly surprising. Whilst being an honourable occupation, patrolling the beach is the most demanding work in the world. Is it now? The union got right back to differ. Oh, really? I'm sure I've heard that before, actually. Indeed. Apart from rare days off, our gallant officers trudge some 20 miles a day, you know. How many is that in kilometers? Uh, 25? Oof. No. They patrol boarding houses and pubs, collect taxes, survey the streets, check the meters of right reading true. Sorry, Mari. It's a little bit less, like, the mileage is more than the kilometers, I think. So, um... Yeah. And they're responsible for keep keeping the streets clean and lighting and extinguishing our street lights. So, this is oh. why the policemen also have a union. <laughs> there are a number of items on that list that don't sound much like policing duties at all. I wouldn't just be falling asleep on my feet, I'd have collapsed long ago. Oops. Honk. <laughs> they ready for you at the bathhouse. Oh, but it goes without saying that a policeman's privacy <laughs> deletes the creation of criminals. <laughs> oh my god. Big honk! Where'd that come from? 
<laughs> That's what resulting. she said. Our constable is expected to investigate and resolve any crimes on his beat. <laughs> the London hobby Bobby is a man of honor. <laughs> and a man of slumber. Ah! Oh. My damn question. This man and his wife are walking down Briar Road in the opposite direction. And they witness the incident as it occurred. Is that not correct, Mr. and Mrs. Beat? That's right, sir. Isn't it, Rolly? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Rolly Beat, sir! Nothing to report on the street, sir! They look like those uh, Nutcracker dolls. What a great witness he is going to be. Right, they have like a very doll like quality of the Yes, there's a very doll like. Especially very good. Rolly. I'd like to hear your formal testimonies now, please. You will tell the court exactly what you saw in the afternoon of the incident. Yes, sir! The poor boy. I wanted to give him a nap. It was our wedding anniversary and Rolly was taking me out for a meal. There was no time to change after work. Anyway, two silhouettes appeared out of the fog on the pavement in front of us. All of a sudden, one of them just collapsed on the floor. And then the other scattered something before running off. We ran straight over, of course, and then went for help at the nearby police box. It was definitely that Japanese man in the dock. Rolly and I both saw him as clear as day. Well, this is an extremely compelling testimony, I must say. Oh dear, this policeman and his wife are claiming to have positively identified Mr. Natsume at the scene. If their testimony is true, the alternative course of events that you established in the summation examination will be quashed. His death nail, in fact. Because that alternative was never viable in the first place. What an unfortunate bechancing. And on your wedding anniversary, too. Oh, bechancing is a nice word. Ooh! Oh, I know. But I still managed to go out for the evening with my man. I thank the Lord for that. Oh dear, are the Christian too? Oh my god. Oh gosh. gosh. They don't really go into it that much, but... Gosh, the life of a London Bobby sounds very hard indeed. Bobby, 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 Robbie. <laughs> indeed, however... This cross-examination will be over in minutes. You may well have time to rest this afternoon. What do you mean by that? My learned friend, the witnesses saw the face of the man fleeing the scene. A testifying under oath that it was, was without a doubt the accused Mr. Soseki Natsumi. <gasps> and one of these witnesses is a policeman, no less. So you appreciate the gravity of the situation, I'm sure. That has not aged well. No! <laughs> Except the man's so tired, his wife has to do all the talking. Enough preamble. Counsel for the defense, commence the cross-examination, please. Yes, my lord. Alright, now we get to the bit where it could get a bit annoying to like go back and forth. <laughs> so, don't try to keep up. But yes! What do you think is happening? I don't think they saw that much clearly, but we'll see. Hold it! Hold it! Oh, we get to see people's reactions now. Yep. Oh no, sadly not. It's a job for strapping young men only. Women and children and the elderly can't even apply. Okay, I'm strapping young cop. women. Ugh. Imagine a child cop. <laughs> I think Rolly looks ever so handsome in his uniform. It suits you down to the ground, doesn't it, darling? 
Well, when I was in high school, you did have like police cadet as a school. Oh, that's right. right. Yeah. Oh, did he? It wasn't a thing here too. Um, yeah. No, but I can. I feel like we had some equivalency program. Yeah, in Malaysia, you had guides, uh, Red Cross, police cadet, fire cadet. And one other one, just forget. I much prefer you in uniform. Oh, we know what her kink is. Um, sometimes I don't recognize you when I see oh, you in plain clothes. you missed out. What? So, <laughs> you know the, the juror I was mis- uh, why say, the, the lady in... Number four. Yeah. So she's a- you were out getting dinner when all of this went down. Um, she was- she's actually one of- a witness, or like a character witness type person, because we talked to her yesterday. Oh. And, and so their deal is that she and her husband pretend it's like a maid like she's his maid because apparently that's like a class thing to show that you have a maid um yes yeah. so and to keep up the charade even though like everyone else is like aware of this it's like no you can't how dare you say that uh, he's my husband no I'm the maid I'm just the maid yeah, <laughs> so that like, doesn't mm. seem healthy I need here to the point. You're going for a meal after you finish your beat for the day, correct? That's right, sir, yes. Although I was fit to drop, to be honest. <gasps> after spending the whole day on my feet. I'm feeling sleepy. But police is my life, sir. As long as I'm the proud owner of this, I'll serve my city and my queen to the end. What's that now? My word card, sir. Proof that I'm a London copper. You do look like children. <laughs> it has the noble founding principles of the Falls written on it as a reminder to all us policemen of our sworn duty. To patrol the streets of London town and uphold the peace of the common man. Sir! Ah. And for such a noble cause, I cover 20 miles every single day without fail and without a grumble. Because I know that the plumbing of my boots is all Londoners need to hear to feel safe and secure. So, I think crime doesn't appear to come into it then. But, sir! Just on that one particular day I was looking forward to celebrating my wedding anniversary. Mrs. B puts up with a lot being married oh. to a Bobby oh. like me. Oh. I wanted to show my dear wife how much I care. Oh just wait. Oh Pat. Oh Rolly. Come on Mary, where are you? I did say it. I said oh. it. Oh, what a charming couple. Their young love is such a joy to be home. If a uh, little over the top, perhaps? Foreshadowing! <laughs> oh, is it? Or just he does not know what romance is? <laughs> like, the only love I of my life it. died. Like, <laughs> I can't handle <laughs> anyone else in love. I don't... Kindly describe what happened next. Anyway, two silhouettes. Hold it! Two silhouettes? That's right. They were coming towards us, walking up Brown Road in the opposite direction. There was a rough, plump figure followed by a scrawny, thing-looking man. Turns out it's like two completely that, unrelated oh, people this whole time. That does sound like, exactly like the victim as pictured in this print and like Mr. Natsume. Yes, unfortunately it does. And you're certain that at the time there was nobody else nearby? Oh yes, quite certain. It was dark, but there are streetlights on Brow Road, you see? There was nobody else around at all. Isn't that right, my darling?
Hmm? Oh? Oh, yeah, that's right. Of course, there was a light fog on the ground. The Briar Road is dead straight, and you can see a fairly long way down the pavement. And then there's a sweet light as well. I didn't see any other. Red. Oh, sir, before sleep takes a firm <laughs> hold, your answer, please. Mr. Beef, are you quite sure of what you've just said? Yes, sir. As a copper who spends all day, every day, keeping watch of the streets, I swear to it, sir. I'm as sure as my love for Patricia is true. What is this anime rubbish nonsense? Oh my god. <laughs> This <laughs> game was made in Japan, don't forget! Oh, hats! <laughs> oh, really? Mm. Yeah. I'm still maintaining there was no one else around other than the victim and the attacker. Starting to seem like that must be how it really happened. It's beginning to seem like there's nowhere to run. What? That didn't stop Mr. Oh, Astrid, did it? He fled the scene all too convincingly. Thank you. I believe we have wow. a reasonably clear of the idea of the situation just before the incident occurred. What happened? You have now damned your bullet? descendant into having frustrating defendants for his entire career. That we don't have to do this if people are tired and don't want to. That's fine. Like I can just speed through this if you want. Hold it. So it's up to you. I'm just waiting for leg. I want leg. Give me leg. I know. We're all <laughs> hanging out for this leg. Make up what if? It's like we don't have any vision in her lock for Brad. I can only offer you leg. <laughs> Look, a leg is more than I'm getting at the moment. Um. <laughs> you know what? Same. <laughs> And you lock down. Right. Hold it. The man in the dock that is doing this over at a port somewhere. Is it by a boat? Ah, oh, dang. Anyway, it's also the throw. Oh shit! Yeah. Now remind the court that this unambiguous testimony comes from a policeman and his wife. I think you're putting too much credibility on that. <laughs> now please continue. <laughs> He's just struggling. Oh god, this is boy. It's like clearly he's so sleepy. Oh. I can see him. Sorry. Oh, you missed a line. Shit, 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 shit. No, go, go, go. Uh, go back, go back. Uh, just zoom through it, zoom through it. It'll just be like. Blah 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 Here's a hint, here's a hint If Kazuma Sama was here If your boyfriend was here <gasps> Whose sword you carry And whose armband you wear Press that, that one, we press that. Okay, yes, okay, this was the books thing. We just talked about, right, okay. Yeah. Please, we didn't ask questions about this one. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, I thought it and I didn't want to say it, but yes. <laughs> That's why no, we have Brad here. It's totally dominatrix with the lead. That's what's happening. Well, the poor boy is asleep. <laughs> <laughs> They're all wrong. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and thanks, he is my boyfriend. Time. A dead boyfriend. <laughs> Just please let me sleep. <laughs> it's like do this on a bed so I can lie down. You <laughs> probably just like not say anything. Getting upset now. <laughs> ah, don't don't shake her ass, Safe word. Safe word. <laughs> <laughs> the poor boy feeling a concussion. It's already. Uh, have... Is this why he has sleep issues? Oh, oh no! <laughs> We are just like Naruto, King Consent Superstar. <laughs> so I'm doing dishes. It's almost 8 a.m. here. Cook oh, I think Feline is joining us from somewhere in the world where it's 8 in the morning. Oh, cooking oh, no. and loving your blind playthrough. Marcel plays and everyone's voice acting. I haven't seen any turn about court content aside from uh, Ace One. Uh, DS. Ah, oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you? That is like 8 in the morning. <laughs> Probably in the US. Oh, hello, Judge Judy Slayer. Hi. Oh, oh there's hello. more people. We have people everywhere. Yeah. Oh my god. Just joined. Sorry, I haven't been looking at the chat much. I'm being playing, but yeah. Judge Judy Slayer. That's like a fun name. <laughs> Love it. Uh, oh, yes, of course. What is it? Well, you keep asking us all these questions about everything we told you, so... It seems like you don't believe our testimony. Is that right? Is it? Well, out with it. Oh my god, she's like, Nya! She's it like, Nya! Like she's this game's but, Nya! But she, nah. Huh? That's also cool. Yep, East Coast, USA, Massachusetts, near the West Mill. Same like the bosses to West Border, I think. Oh! She's guilty! <laughs> She's, she's, this game's yeah. Look at what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor Roly. What? No, 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 no. Oh no, it's really not that at all. She's this is awesome. Meow, meow. My, well, just you. My husband is policeman. Remember, and I'm a white asshole. I remember every last detail, everything. Like, like. Oh, I know. What about the books the man dropped? Oh, yes, thank you, Toby. I could tell you the names of every single man I could. Every single one. And you dare to question how reliable my testimony is. Oh! That will do, Mrs. Beat. No, it won't do at all. 
That Japanese lawyer has no idea what I'm capable of. Murder? Jesus! Even if I decide to forgive him for insulting us, don't think for a minute that Rolly will. I really didn't mean to cause offense. Please put your husband's face down. Why, does, why is he the only one looking out for Rolly? Perhaps you, uh, perhaps you would like to see you sub at your testimony, Mrs. Bate. Are you okay, Andrew? You're falling asleep. I said something. Didn't you hear me? Yeah. Might, might that appease you? We're all just like appalled by this woman's concept practices. <laughs> oh, thank you, my lord. That would settle things nicely. Wouldn't it, darling? Mood. I could even Four yeah. books. Hold it. Yes, we know there were books on the scene. The crime, as you say. It's purchased by the accused of the nearby second-hand bookshop on the day in question. After I've been to the police box for help, I. Well, I've decided to have a good look over the area for good measure. I'm a proud policeman's wife, after all. I did it for Rolly. And what have you been doing at the time? Oh, he was lying face down in the snow, <gasps> getting some well-deserved oh. rest. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> He needs a br he needs a break. He needs a vacation. He works ever so hard, you know, ever so hard, don't you, my darling? Interesting way of guarding the scene of the crime. Well, Mrs. Beat, seeing as you've regaled the court with tales of tales of your powers of recollection, would you be so kind as to recount the titles of the books you observed at the scene? Oh, it's a trace from South Yarra Station, that's what we're hearing. Oh, I think... oh, my window open. <laughs> I'd be happy to. Now, why are you all listening? It's like what random truck honks around if you saw. There was the picture of Monsieur Somebody or the Other and What's It Yearnings. Then there was a meal for someone and the last one was definitely the Thingummy Something. Nice! You see? Perfect. All top selling books. Yes, I see there are one or two holes in your memory. Oh well, they were all along those lines, I'm quite sure. There were indeed books found in the scene with titles along these lines, as you put it. Well, what did I tell you? I think it's very mean the way you've been implying that my testimony cannot be trusted. Don't you need that? Oh my god! Anyone who protests my test my petition will have me to answer to. Oh lordy. Good night. <laughs> I think someone that sleepy should be handling a fire alarm. A fire alarm. Uh, or a fire, fire alarm. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, she really is. Well, have you noticed the problem? So yeah. That's it, is it? That's the entire testimony. I have noticed the problem. What do you think, Mr. Navarro? Well, I'd hate to admit it, but I'm hearing the testimony. Really, that's the same. So, Mr. and Mrs. Beach saw what they saw, say they saw. I'm going to do this instead of shot in my mind what you need to do. The sleepy power of the state. Terrifying! <laughs> what? Do the uh, finding felines like chat stuff. The, the sleepy power of the state. She killed too! <laughs> this is also meow meow. <laughs> instead of shout in my mind what you need to know, you can shout away in your mind the sleepy power of the state. Terrifying. You can, you can shout Me out too. loud too if you want. Yeah. It terrifies me too, not alone. <laughs> Use that in like a, any of the anti police yes, protests. I feel the same. <laughs> so, if that's true, where does it leave us? The members of the jury are sure to call for a guilty verdict after this testimony. Oh no. 
Oh no! What do we do? Kazuma-sama was the... What are you trying to say? Don't bring up my dead boyfriend! I think he would try to find... Oh, this is the contradiction. Oh, okay, I don't know. I'm zooming. He means somewhere else. Statement is unequivocal. Calling that into question would help find a contradiction. Oh, hi. <laughs> and nothing has changed there, okay. Right. Okay, no time to change. I want to look at the court record. Okay. Don't have anything there. I want to. Okay. Present the receipt. Mm. Objection. Objection. So you're saying that there were four books? That's right. I remember all of them. The picture must be somebody. What's it yearnings? A meal for someone and the thing gummy something. I'm sorry, Mrs. Beat. But there is a fundamental flaw in that statement of yours. <gasps> oh no! What? What flaw? Bad. Simply that, at the scene of the crime, there were only three books, not four. <gasps> what? This is the receipt from the bookshop where the defendant brought his, brought his books. Your books? Mm -hmm. Yes, and it details Mr. Natsume's purchases that But as you can see, only three books are listed. Only three? But no, no, that can't be. I remember seeing them. There were four books, I tell you. Four dirty old books. Oh, really? Have a good look at this photographic print of the scene of the crime. As you can clearly see from this evidence as well, there are only three books. Well, I just don't believe it. I saw them there, I swear it, I saw them. No, madam, I'm afraid your parts of observation cannot be relied upon. So it cannot be denied that though you say it was a defendant you saw, you could very well be mistaken. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, maybe oh she's no. not guilty. No. <laughs> Objection. Is it leg? Is it time for leg? Maybe. There's nothing else oh, on yeah. the There's nothing else on the table. It's time for leg. That for a second. Um, go! Oh. What? Oh, damn it, there comes the line again. <laughs> what? Damn it, there it is. What can I be denied is these two witnesses saw the accused oh. running from the scene. I think Bradley keeps cutting out. Are you okay? Oh, my screen's yeah. out again, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's alright, that's okay. I'm just gonna go check if the. Okay, I'm all good on this then. The fact that you know very well, you have no hope of disproving. Okay, maybe she's not. Yeah. Oh, ah! So you've striven to avert attention from that by dint of some inconsequential discrepancies. Would that be fair? right through me. But your plan has somewhat recoiled against you. 
I hope he does like it, this case. I'm, I'm gonna be very <laughs> cross. Hmm. What are you talking about? It's quite simple. Let me explain with a toast. When six is like... Come on, pull out a piece of toast! Pull out a piece of toast! Come on! Oh. Policeman's wife and her entirely accurate testimony in every respect. Oh. The matter is not up for debate. At the scene on Briar Road, a total of four books were most definitely found. Objection! But, but what a photographic print! It only shows three books! <gasps> only three can be seen in that print. This is another aut updated autopsy report situation, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> The, that print, you, you mean to say? <laughs> oh, stop. How is the whole court not on fire? Allow me to. The victim's hand. <gasps> oh. Oh, oh, something's stuck. Oh, ah, we can't see your screen, Murray. Oh, what happened? Oh, can you still hear me, everyone? I can uh, hear you. Barry's just gone quiet. I haven't gone quiet. I'm uh -oh. here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I haven't gone quiet. 